You like? I think it looks very nice on you. Really? Hmm. Really, huh? Peter Minna count? Why not? And some hair for my little friend here. <laughs> hey! Hey. Why didn't you get the big one? This hat just bottles in the heat. I, I don't even need a coat. It's unbelievable. I don't believe it. Uh, yeah, I got a date with the saleswoman. She got a little Marissa Tomei thing going on. Ah, too bad you got a little George Costanza thing going on. Going out with her tomorrow. She said she had some errands to run. That's a date? What's the difference? You know the way I work. I'm like a commercial jingle. At first, it's a little irritating. Then you hear it a few times. You're humming it in the shower. By the third date, it's by Menon. <laughs> How do you make sure you're going to get to the third date? If there's any doubt, I do a leave behind. Keys, gloves, scarf. I go back to her place to pick it up. Date number two. That is so cold. Why don't you just show up at her house on a wooden horse? Thanks, George, but I got it from here. Oh, no, I'm in already. Come on. So, uh, you uh, want to get together tomorrow? No. I'm going to be pretty busy. What about this weekend? I'm going to be busy for a while. Okay, uh, see ya. Hey, <laughs> you got your keys. Well, th those aren't my keys. Well, they're not mine. Oh. <laughs> they are my keys. How weird. <laughs> Goodbye, George. Yeah, bye. George, bye. <laughs> Hello. You are not going to believe the date I just had. Who stands up? Can I help you? Hi, yeah, I'm Elaine Bennis. We met at Barney's. I'm a friend of George Costanza's. Hi. Um, whether you're aware of it or not, George had this pathetic little plan to leave something behind so he could try and weasel a second date. Really? I know. He he has a real confidence problem. Well, not really. George! <laughs> anyway, I know you told him that you didn't have the hat because you didn't want to see him again, and more sympathetic I could not be. <laughs> but I really do need to have the hat back. Look, I don't know what to tell you, but there's no hat here. I mean, maybe the maid took it. I had people over, but... Yeah, well, that makes sense. Well, then you wouldn't mind if we took a second look around? Uh, be my guest. Good to see you again. <laughs> She's bluffing. She's got it stashed away in there somewhere. This is an absolute disaster. Oh, I don't know. Check this out. <laughs> Stole her clock? Well done. Yep. This is one for our side. So Heather called. Yeah, but get this. The message said, call me if you have the time. <laughs> if I have the time. You get it? No. But this is all very exciting. She knows that I have her clock. I know that she has my hat. I think she's getting ready to make an exchange. Well, there is the possibility that you've gone right out of your mind. <laughs> I've looked at that. It seems unlikely. Well, I'd look again. So how do you want to do this? All right, George. I'll be honest. First time we went out, I found you very irritating. <laughs> After seeing you a couple of times, you sort of got stuck in my head. Costanza. <laughs> so you, you really don't have my hat? What? Uh, well, let's go do something. What's in the bag? Oh, that's a, that's a sandwich. Uh, damn salami. You stole it? That damn delicatessen. That, that is the last time they screw up one of my orders. 